In this video, I'm gonna show you one final tool and technique that I love to use to help me get better information to arrive at the perfect exposures. I'm gonna teach you how to shoot flat in camera even when shooting stills. My name is Pai, and I'm one of the founders of Lynn and Jersa Photography and SLRLounge.com. We're teaming up with Adorama to bring you a new series of photography tutorials called Master Your Craft right here on Adorama TV. So let's dive in. What's up friends? My name is Pai. Welcome back to Adorama TV. Now this is part four on our exposure series. And that means, well, at this point, you should already understand the exposure triangle. You should have mastered it in practice and how it works compositionally. You should know the histogram and highlight alert and now we're gonna talk about shooting flat. This is the final piece to getting to the best and most information possible. Let me show you why I actually like to do this first and then we'll talk about the how. So I have my camera pulled up here. Now what I've done here is I've taken the same raw file from Lightroom and placed it back onto the camera so you can see the preview that we're seeing on the camera as well as in Lightroom. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna jump into my menu and I'm gonna turn on the highlight alert so you can start seeing the blinkies. What I want you to pay attention to is what's blinking in this image versus if I go over to Lightroom and press J, you'll see what's blinking in Lightroom. Now, if we place these side by side, you're gonna notice something. Look, this image is entirely reset out. I'm gonna push the reset button just so you guys know there's no funny business going on. What you're gonna see is over here in the camera preview, it's actually showing areas of the image that are blown out that aren't actually blown out. On the raw file, you can see how well, the highlight areas doesn't cross over these beams, but in this image it does. There's quite a bit more areas of this image that are blown out in camera than the actual raw file is showing in post. What's happening right now is you're seeing the image based on a JPEG preview. You're not actually seeing the raw file here. You're seeing the file as it would be processed as a JPEG, okay? So it's processing the file using your picture profile or your picture style settings, depending on what your camera you're using. And it's showing you that preview on the back of the camera. Now this means if we're trying to get to the best information possible, well, this might be showing us results that are a little bit wonky. In fact, the histogram might even be a little bit off. I'm gonna prove it, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so watch. We're gonna jump to the menu. You're gonna see that we're shooting raw, right? What I'm gonna do is go over to picture style. If you're not shooting on Canon, just look at your camera manual. I know we hate doing that, just do it anyway. Picture style, whatever they call it in your camera, you're gonna go into that, and I'm gonna choose just standard to start with, okay? Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shoot my set. And on my set, well, you're gonna see that I'm, I'm very lonely and I'm all by myself. But you'll also see the lights and everything that we have set up around us. So I'm gonna set this to F4. We're gonna go to, actually let's go to F4. 5, 1 200 of a second and 3200 ISO and let's take that shot. Okay. Pulling the camera down, this was with that standard picture profile, right? If I press play, you can see what area is blinky and blown out. I like saying the word blinky. It's nice. Let's go back to the picture style and now what we're going to do is go to user defined. I'm going to set up two profiles. The first one Let's make this a super high contrast look. So I'm gonna go to standard, and I'm actually going to turn up the contrast, and we'll just call it good there. With the second one, I'm actually going to go here, and we're gonna dial in how I like to shoot. So this, I'm gonna set this to neutral. So you're gonna choose neutral, and then we're gonna go down. Once you set it to neutral, so if this were actually set to, uh, let's choose something else so it defaults back to it. There we go. So neutral. And as I scroll down, so you can see contrast is set to zero. Now what I'm gonna do is back this off down to zero as well. I also like to tone down the saturation a bit, and then I leave color tone where it's at. This is where I like to shoot, okay? So now we're gonna press okay, and what I'm gonna do is select this one and take that exact same shot. I haven't changed my exposure. I haven't changed my shutter speed. Nothing has changed between these two images. Now I'm gonna take one more shot with the neutral profile. So look at this, this is the neutral image. This is the high contrast image. Look at the histogram. The histogram is again different. Look at this, they're substantially different. Now you might be asking, well why would we wanna set up a picture profile when you shoot raw and it gets over to the computer? It's the same thing anyway, it doesn't transfer, right? Correct, it doesn't. When you shoot JPEG, 
then your picture style is actually applied to the image. Whatever you have baked in is baked into the image, right? When you shoot raw, it transfers over the same, okay? So it doesn't matter what your profile or your picture style is set to. But what does matter is the information that you're seeing in this histogram. Look, between our three images, the histogram is completely different each time. The highlight alert is completely different each time. Look at this version of this with high contrast. The entire scrim, the entire light set is blown out versus low contrast. There's actually detail there that's still preserved in the file and I need that information to get to that perfect exposure. So this is why I like to shoot flat in camera because the preview that you're seeing on the back of the camera is the JPEG preview with the picture style attached. And that's also the information that's presented in the histogram. So the histogram as well as the highlight alert are gonna give you information based on what that picture style is set to. So my recommendation is shoot flat. Give yourself a better opportunity to see all of that information to get to the perfect raw exposures. When I do post-production demonstrations, I get asked quite a bit, why does it seem so easy? The raw files get to this really nice place in just a couple clicks, and the final image, the quality looks fantastic. It starts back here. With better raw files to work with, we arrive at better images in post. I hope you all enjoyed this series. If you did, I'd love for you to give this video a like and a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the Adorama TV channel. And if you enjoy the way that I teach, well, we have full length workshops available on sroungeworkshops.com. This was actually part of our Photography 101 series. We have entire series on literally everything from photography to lighting, to weddings, to business, all of it. So be sure to check that out as well. In the meanwhile, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.